Hey folks, I have prepared an interesting tutorial for you. Let's go watch this video without delay. In the same previous project, which was related to the scroll animation of the forgotten page of the Apple website, I want to add it. If you haven't seen this video, you can watch it from the link in the description. To create a pop-up, just create two HTML tags. First, we create a button and write open pop-up inside it. And then we create a division and give it the ID attribute with the pop-up value. And we also have to give it a pop over attribute that will hide the element as soon as we write this attribute. We must give the button a pop over target attribute and its value must point to the pop up ID value. As you can see, it opens and closes by clicking on the pop up button at the top of the page. Now we have to style it to make it looks better. To do this, first I put the button in the division with the support class. And instead of the text inside, I use an image that I have already downloaded. I also assign a class to pop up. And to create the close button, we create a button tag with the same attribute. Well, let's go for styling. In order not to take your time and the video is not long, I will speed up this part of the video and explain the places that need to be explained. Here, although we use the bottom property, we must give auto value to the top property. By default, it has a border that we can set to none. We create an animation so that the opening of the pop-up has animation and is more attractive. If you are interested in the topic of animation in CSS, watch the Sugest video at the end of this video. I hope this tutorial is useful and practical for you and if you like the tutorial, please like the video and subscribe to the Percent Tutorial channel.